I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? No. This is my Echodex 4520. Parabolic homing origin netwave emitter. Also known as Pahone. What does a Pahone do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Echodex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What is the big game? Which everyone is on. Anyway, the best thing about this baby is I had a jailbroken. Forget about your standard Econet, I'm coasting through the shadows. With these black market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeepers, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. If you're to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. Radon, my guy, was that? What? No, don't insult me. I use the DX6500. The DX6500 makes this boom. The other bombs make this boom. You hear the difference? Totally. Very distinct difference. Dude spots so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. Uh, no, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm hmm. Hmm. With the money from Louis, I could buy some sweet threads here. Got a dress for success. <clears throat>
I suppose the sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. You've reached Danielle's Echo Mail. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! <sighs> Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. Yet, and you uh, have uh, an aroma. Musk. I have a musk. Hmm. Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratchets. They look cozy. V very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal. Who's engineering schematics? I feel like I'm looking at him naked. You are. Ugh. Get over here, man. I need your help. You sure I can't get you a taco? No. What about a burrito? No. 
An enchilada? No. A tostada? No. Not even a chimichanga? No. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? Juniper as in your prized microbreed ranch? Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days! So, the ratch, right? Yes, man! She was here two minutes ago, then Raiden scared her off with its usual antics. <sighs> Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free talk. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no! One Juniper, coming up. She's a sweetie. Ratches are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey, can I like you, fool? Juniper, you in there, girl? That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. I hate to disturb a business call, but... Hold, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't. But you get to explode things. And Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. Hey, it's Radon? Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. One juniper, as promised. Oh, how the cutest little rat that ever was. Yes, it's my juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> Thanks, Ah. How you want to say? One taco, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the gel broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you. Find Vaultlanders? Hey, you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one... Organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. Then just pick the crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale.
pot. <laughs> this is one sweet executable. A teddy or a mirror has been spotted in the skies above Meridian City. We are being invaded. This isn't business news. Again, Atlas troops are already mobilizing in defense. Citizen militias are defending alongside them. I repeat, a teddy or invasion. That does not sound good. No, it definitely does not. Oh, come on! Not another war! We're still picking up the pieces from the last one! Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You... Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh! How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is a... Adorable. You? You look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact friend. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that your business mantra? And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jack. Oh, you're one of those. The jukebox is a little worse for wear, too. Looks broken to me. Nah, just needs a little of the old Fran razzle-dazzle. I don't like music anyway. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? Oh, it's one of those silly...
silly little vault lander's toys. How kitschy. <laughs> on the house. Complete with a cherry on top. For some reason that tasted like a nose. When you think about it, Everything tastes like a nose. Anything else you want to show me? Yes, just a few more things. I went through a lot of trouble to get one of these machines installed, but as you can see, the damage from the laser wrecked it. Seems busted. Oh, it works. Just gotta give it some of that Fran magic. There you go. Just gotta know how to turn it on. This is where the laser beam didn't do too much damage. So why are you showing it to me? <laughs> Basis for comparison. Who's he? My apprentice, I guess. Good kid, stupid as hell, but in the handsome way. Um, do you need a minute, or...? <laughs> Not usually. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. The laser beam didn't hit the back room. Everything you need to see is up here. Aren't you cute? Thinking you know what I do and do not need to see. <laughs> Are you the insurance agent now? <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine yourself in this suit? <laughs> now go ahead and open that door. I said, open the door. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first, but now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. Let go. This is going to be awkward. Is that ice cubes? Why are they on the floor instead of on a tree? Oh my god, it's a guy! Wait! You ch- 
chopped up a guy and put him in your freezer? He was trying to kill me. You're a psycho. A psycho bandit. You're never getting another cent. Not from my firm. Not from any firm. Actually, why don't I put out a bounty for you? Francine the Bandit Queen of Froyo. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you did amount to something. Who knows? Maybe if you're lucky, a vault hunter will collect on your head. At least this day can't get worse. Approach this with level heads. Everybody take cover! Hide! Right. I'm gonna go hide. Um, up there. <laughs> hide! Screw that! Friend for backup. Danielle, I need a favor. Must be Wednesday. Got a TDR commander who's causing a real situation. What kind of situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? What isn't? your last favor for a while. Oh, but we... What if I really need one? I'm taking the training wheels off, Ark. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna! Our commander has fallen! I fight for it against this. I'll shoot them! Bring it up! Boys are losing citizens to kill! That regrettably mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. Your commander! 
So far, this weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like your poor! You're obviously an intelligent special weapon. You've got a mind of your own. Live your own life! You don't have to be a corporate tool for these TDR drones! There's not the difference between you and me, you fat-fingered moron! I know I'm a tool, and I'm damn proud of it! Fat-fingered? Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. This ought to distract him. Bye. Well, he definitely won't notice us now. Let's move. Mr. Brock! Just Brock! And you're so lucky you get to manhandle my handle. Okay, less talky, more shooting. I think we should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within TDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. I love the law. And we at TDR thank you for your cooperation. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. But my friends all call me. You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill calm
safety first! <gasps> New friend. Time to run! Friends! Really? Uh, I always knew the so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> When you said we were friends, you meant... Us! But not... The Five Fathers! <laughs> yeah. Got it. What do we do? Run! If you say so! What? No! Never mind! Just toss it here! Got it! Hands and eyes! How animated! You all seem super stressed! I think you could use a vacation! Siren? Scientist! Again! Again! Pretty girl, pretty kill! I'm not a killer, I'm just sending them on a little trip! My name is Anu. <sighs> Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! of a hero includes the wanted slaughter of other humans! It does! No! To Stapleface, you are Hero Girl! Who's Stapleface? Oh, right. Of 
course. Today was Staple Faces Death Day! Death Day? Punishment for bad thoughts! Thought about becoming not psycho! Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day! Ah, oh, got it, I think. But Anu helped! No more death day! Reborn day! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day, Steepleface! I knew is reborn too! I am? You did a kill! Baptism by giblets! Yeah. So, for starters, I'm going to need to re-examine my entire perception of myself and my place in the world based on the discovery that I'm willing to compromise my core values in order to survive. Okay! Well, staple face, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother. Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! I'm back, by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Not today, Killbot! Octavia, your friend seems nice. Whoa! Let's just calm down, all right? He's a friend, friend. It'll be real awkward if we kill each other before the Tidior Invasion Force had a chance to. For flip's sake! Another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? Uh, who the hell is that? Insurance lady. And what's on my foot? Is, is that a nipple? Hanks. I thought you were in recovery. Scolding does not look good on you, young, young, young man. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louie. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's damage? 
Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Fogert. Oh. The one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All route now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. So you came here? I just... It seemed like the safest place. Safe for who? You realize the position this puts me in? Look, I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Make sure she doesn't kick up a fuss, and while you're at it, maybe start to clean up the mess on the floor. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. Die, probably. No. The boy in the pod, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Respond! Say something! Do it! Oh, thank goodness. You just missed him. He was covered in blood. He was trying to get in. I told him to shove off. If you hurry, you could catch him. Ha! Are you trying to bluff us? Ha! 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 We tracked the signal from our communicator here. We know he is close by. Now, where is he? Prepare to fire! Preparing! Tell you what. You better get a kill shot, because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire! Yes, you are about to execute a TDOR licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? We're Froyo machines. They're TDOR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ha! What are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! <laughs> Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell. Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her, but she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns won't fire, and... Oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination. If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear, I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. Hold on a second. We're both business women. We can work this out. I mean, you don't need to trash my place. <laughs> I don't deal with little people. Hmm? The hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Hmm. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Some things are just better than others. Some people 
are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies. Forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. <laughs> 